Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Game Dev Tycoon. Where we got so many things we need to do this episode, and we did so many things last episode. We created the Seni Top, which has currently sold 5.2. That's right, 5.2 million units. Now, if that's not the most, if that's not the, con the how am I putting this word? <laughs> If this console, my console here, isn't the doesn't have the biggest market share, why well, was that such a struggle to say? Then I will be disappointed. But we have Todd's game of the Cineac the Dankus still selling, which is Shadow Bear for. Now we can see here how much we're spending. We're spending 2.9 million a, a month on the hardware lab. We need to reduce that as we're not making a console no more. Um, half a million monthly costs. In general, we staff and stuff like that, but we're making we're making a million a month just off Cyanet alone. Now, some of you guys suggested that I merge some of the companies that I bought because even though I'm not going to make much money off them at the start, they have a lot of fans that I could get over to Cyanet Gaming. So if we can do that, we just need to move our competitors down a bit. There we go. Show it to Vera Bell. Okay, Sonia Danks is now off the market. So, the first thing we need to do is take care of this um, laboratory, the hardware lab. The Play System 5 is now out. Is half a million good enough? I mean, that's affordable. We're going to be making money. Right, so let's check out our competitors. So, we purchased, was it three of them we purchased? We got Bionic Wear. They got like, look at that. They've got more fans than what we've got, and we could merge them. We're going to merge them. Settings. Merge a parent company. This will mean we're going to have a ridiculous amount of fans. Are you ready? 1.4 million. Uh, I'm just going to choose... Yeah, I'll choose a large booth. I, there's no reason why. It will sell a few copies of the Seni Top anyway. So that's giving us 1.4 million fans. Now, I could I could purchase NG Software, which I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy them because they're, they will come in replacement for the company I've just merged. Bulldog Productions has uh, 400,000. We could, we're could we gonna merge them as well. I'll tell you what, we'll merge all three of the three of the companies that we bought in the last episode. Um, Backbone Media. Look how many fans they've got, Jesus. Um, settings, marriage with parent company. That gives us a grand total of 2.6 million. And we just got a magazine interview. Uh, Game Pride have contacted you for an interview. Recently you reached one point, Malawell. I don't know what the word says there. Fans, they would like to know what your secret beyond your success. Um, providing the best games, they can always merge a lot of companies. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right, and we're, we're going to buy these two new companies that can be replacements for those both. Yes, we got Epoch Games. We're going to buy the company. So even though we sell the two companies, we get loads of fans, which means we could potentially sell more units of our consoles and our games, and we're buying the two new companies at the start, well, the three new companies at the start of their new life, so we can watch them progress into money makers. <laughs> so guys, there's a few things we're going to do this episode. The first thing we're going to do is send these on vacation, because we need to create our new game engine. Now, if I go to create a new game engine, uh, we have the newly updated version 5 3d graphics we have quite a few new things we have like multi-platform optimization realistic sound i think no that's not new orchestral sound which is a big one that's a ridiculously big one uh we have like skill trees um got oculus rift support some body language and stuff like that but it's that we got 360 odd uh research points so we're going to research a load of new stuff for the engine as well that we can add in so we're pretty excited to see what we could do um, we're going to do both, do I do both, uh, mild and disturbing? I think I'm going to do both of those. So here comes the game convention, which is solely going to generate more revenue from our console. That's all it's going to do. We don't have any games out at the moment. So 1.56 is what we're working with in terms of visitors to our booth. Barf. Right. Okay. So we're going to see those sales increase. They might increase this month or next month. I'm not too sure. Not too sure when they increase. We now have a strong trend towards action games as well. Okay, so Georges, you are off from your vacation. So you, sir, can research the disturbing game content that we want. We've still got quite a bit left. Um, okay, so I need to think of stuff that's going to like impact our games a lot more for this new game engine. Uh, we got Complex Quests is a big one. Complex Quests is a big one as well. There's a lot of research points as well. Uh, research, 
We only got 150 left, uh, 170, should I say. MMO support, multi, um, I don't think we're ready for that just yet. We still need to train our staff a little bit more and we get them in, or trained in certain areas, basically. Um, let's have a look at it. Moral choices is a good one. Graphics world, anything to do with real, oh my goodness. How have I not researched rich backstory yet? That is a must. And fine, next. Um, realistic pant life, realistic weather. Seniac, have you not done this stuff? Right, we got 80 left. Let's do something for the AI. AI. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. AI companions. Again, that's another big one we haven't done. Damn. And that leaves Kristen here. We'll research her. she got 40 left. What can she do? Uh, AI. Sound. Custom sounds, we can have dialogues. Ooh, dialogues. Um, advanced by language. No, we don't have enough for that. We'll go with the language settings or dialogue tree. We'll go with we'll go with the language settings or custom game language. No, language settings. That's always good. Which leaves us with seven, which is good enough. Good enough. So at the moment, Sign has dropped down to number two company in the world. They've got nearly a million fans themselves. Um, we, we could always merge them, but I ain't going to do that just yet because they're making us so much more money. Uh, Senate V5, uh, that's our current game engine. We're going to give it away to get that little bit more fans. How much do we get? Uh, we gained 40,000 fans, which is, that's all right. So we can now create the Senjin version, version 6, I believe. So let's call it the Senjin V6. And that's going to contain, let's have a look, version 5. Of the 3D graphics. It's going to be so cool. Complex quests. We're going to have. Multi-platform optimised. That's going to be so good. Realistic sound. We'll throw that in. With orchestral sound. Uh, AI companions. With language settings. And simple body language. Uh, we don't need character selection. Because we can't do that. If we got character creation. We have skill trees. Uh, various, various. I can't even say the word. Support. Which is basically Oculus Rift support. Mild and disturbing game content and realistic weather. This thing costs us 4.8 million. So, net! This is gonna be such a good, such a good game engine once we get it all set up and get it out the door. And we're gonna create a beast of a game as well. Now we got can I get him to research? I can't get him to research while he's doing anything. Now actually, can I we can train them. Can I specialize? We got a specializing gameplay and engine. What could Marcus do? Now, he's got pretty high design, so he could... What about graphics? No, he's not there with the graphics. He could be the storyline and quest guy. It's going to cost us 200 um, research points that we don't have. But that's pretty interesting to see now. We can specialise more people in them certain areas, which we'll, we'll end up doing. We'll end up doing. Right then. So, I think we're going to create a... Well, we created that... What did we create that sequel for? Let's quickly check our game history. Uh, SimCity 2000, which was ridiculously good. Ridiculously good. We could always create a sequel for that as our first game out the door because simulation always does well. We just got to hope that popular genre, well, the popular genre will disappear, action, uh, by the time we release our next game anyway. So, we have to send them on vacation again uh, just so we can maximize their ability to create our next game. But it's good. I'm liking where this is going. This is almost done. The East Engine version 6. Boom. It is done. It's now complete. Bam. So I'll quickly send them on vacation. Send everybody on vacation. Just so they're, uh, they're nice and fresh. We can maximise their time uh, developing the game. Right, we're good. We're going to develop a sequel off it, even though we recently created it, but I know it's going to be so good. So, Sim City. We call this one 3000. We're working our way up the ranks. Simulation, platform, the PC. Okay, so the semi top is not at the top then. Where is the semi top? Ooh, it's down at the bottom. Okay. Um, places, I'm sure the PlayStation 5 is out. Yeah, the PlayStation 5 is out. We go over the semi top, and what do I go with? Uh, 7.1 of. Um, this is going to be have a longer lasting life, so I'm going to pick the, the um, PlayStation 5. Uh, it's a large, everybody, pick the engine, the Senjin version 6, which is going to be so good. So good. Uh, start development? Yes. Please, let's do this. We got nearly 700 million in the bank. We're working our way up to that lucrative 1 billion. This guy might push us over that. 
I'm gonna sneeze. I can feel a sneeze coming on. Oh dear. Don't miss any air with the sneezes. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Damn it. It's, it's, I don't know what's going on. Right. Um, Storyline quest, take off collectibles. We'll have a complex quest um, in, and we'll take off branching story and simple cutscenes. That's too much. We'll keep those on. Keep those on. We're going to have an online store so we can earn more. I'm going to sneeze again. Ugh. Brief, Shaniac. Freaking brief. <laughs> right. Online store so we can get more money off it. Local co op? Why not? We can play two player on that. We'll have skill trees in there and rights of support. We don't need character creation or character progression. None of that in. Um, or, you know what? We don't even know. We don't need a local co op. You don't need to play two player on the same computer. What are you talking about, Sunniac? Let's go. Let's go. Right. We're going to lightning bolt these for you guys. Sweet. And while they do it, I'm going to take a sip of my hot beverage of tea. That is some good tea. Right. Uh, what the hell is this? A company named Generic has recently been uh, working on a screen. For the PC platform, the screen is very good. At Ooh, okay. So basically they're creating new yeah, generic screen support. Basically you, you can then have different screens. They're basically creating monitors for the gaming PC world. That's all they're doing there. Um, yes, we'll agree to do an interview. Um, it's going to be a hype game, of course. When's it not going to be a hype game, you fool? Right, so, wait for the next stage before we pop our next guys. This is going up pretty quick, the design of technology in its first stage, so this may, may even break both records. It'll be interesting to see. So, AI up, the dialogue's down, level design up. So, we can have all the AI. We'll have language settings. No, we'll take language settings off. We're going to have mini games from within it. That don't even make sense. No. We're not going to have mini games within it. Boom. 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 Pop these lightning bolts. Get this underway. Now, I'm excited to see where the technology levels are for. I feel like it's going to go over a thousand. Both of them, to be honest. Both of them are going to go over a thousand. But will they break the records? I think they will. I think they will. I'm pretty confident that they will. He says it now. <laughs> so... We are doing so good. I've just noticed Cyanus going over the 1.1 million mark. Right then. So, graphics to the top, well designed down, sound up, up. So, we're going to switch over Travis onto the sound. Uh, Dominic is going to take over. No, I'm, I'm doing graphics there, but let's get Catherine on that. Sweet. Liking it. Liking it. Right then. So, sound. We're going to have orchestral sound and realistic sound. We're going to throw all those in. We'll take off surround sound, we don't need that. Um, realistic weather and maybe rich backstory? No. Not real rich backstory. We'll have, keep all those in because we actually need those in some city. So we'll park this landing boat. And hopefully these three guys at the back should be done. We're going to go for the large booth, get that maximum um, exposure for the game. So we're just waiting for these guys to so I can pop their lightning bolts. Boom. 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 <laughs> We're just maximizing the infrared we can get out of this game. So technology is way over it. Release DLC. We're going to release DLC. We've got high risk. Even though it don't work. I always like to select it. Just in case that moment where it does actually work again. It's been so long. I missed the DLC. Right. One point. We've got to be at 1.69 million. <clears throat> Easy. 1.6 million. There we go. 1.61 million. Shweet. It's going to create some hype for us and stuff like that. Um, it's created, we've got quite a lot of hype. 200 bucks to get out. This is going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Right. 70 left. We're nearly there. We are nearly there. Would a design reach over a thousand? It has. Two bugs out. Boom. Let's go. Let's do this. Do we break records? Both records. Interesting. Okay. So, get level up gameplay, level up design, level up our graphics as well, straight away for the first time we've actually used it. And George has also leveled up. So, let's release this game. Sweet. We can now research 600p resolution. I mean, come on. We've researched higher than that before. But we got cooperative play and no loading screens and realistic particles, which is a big thing as well. Um, the replay system take off the month soon and the 2GS. That's fine. Generate the game report on this bad boy. So let's see our reviews. They've got to be good. I mean, these are coming off a sequel. 
Ten. Yes. A nine. Oh man, this is not as good. Ten. And a ten. Damn it, informed gamer, you fool. You made me not have the perfect score game. But we're gonna sell loads anyway. We're gonna in our first week. Uh, yeah, the sequel did well. Thank you very much. We sold 3 million units in the first week, generating 42.3 million in sales. Instantly, that's making us profit. Instantly. Let's check it out. Yeah. And we're going to sell even more this month as well. Just watch this. 3.5 million, making 48.6 million in sales. And it increases the, the sales for the semi top as well. That is just ridiculously good. You can't ask for more than that. You cannot ask for more than that. Right, so we've got a few bit spare time for these guys now. So we're going to train Marcus, finally, for him to be our storyline and quest guy. Uh, George? Yes, thank you. And they said, and they did it. Generic have announced a generic keyboard. Okay, so they're creating gaming PCs, and, um, gaming keyboards and stuff now. Uh, we're going to train him <clears throat> to be our AI guy, shall we? Yeah, he can be our AI guy. Travis, oh, we don't have enough for you, dude. We ain't got enough for you to do any of that. That's fine. Oh, we may actually, if they can generate a few more research points, we need four more. How much stuff is popping up? Just, just go away. You know what we're going to do? Some contract work. Just quickly, accept it so we can get some research points. Look, we're over 200 now. That was done instantly. Right. Uh, yes, thank you. So, Travis, <clears throat> you could be none of those. That's fine. Uh, Catherine, uh, you could be, again, none of those. Uh, Dominique, you could be none of those. we got all those set up anyway. So really, we need to actually train you guys to get further your areas. So you've got really high design. So really high design could be like level design, but you need to get your technology up. Or world design. Your t either way, your technology, oh, your technology is borderline there. Okay, work on your technology. Uh, Dominique, uh, you've got really high tech, so we could get you to be something like, I don't know, what's really high tech? Mm, not many things, but we'll get you to focus on your design anyway, because we need to get that up. And the shame goes for you, Travis. Um, high tech, we need to get your design up. Yeah, that's what we can do. Um, Christine's doing good. Can we train her to do anything else? No. But what we can do is train her, well, basically get research some new topics. We got Gladiator. That looks like a good one. We'll research a new topic in River. Why not? <clears throat> Why not? Mark is now our story on Quest guy. So we can research. Uh, might as well just research Steampunk, get it out of the way. We got some good stuff going on here. We got some good stuff going on. Look at the increase in sales of the Cinetop since we released SimCity 3000. That's crazy. That's crazy. Right, research. Air hockey. Research. New topic. Twin stick shooter. What the hell is that? Right, research. Um, beat em up. Yeah, we could go for a beat em up. That sounds like a good thing. And um, we're still waiting for um, Catherine there to finish training, so we'll just do a few more researches. Snakes. Research. I think this will be our last research now. Sports as well. There we go. Last one. We're going to do no more. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay. We just got the achievement. Make one billion in cash. I've just noticed that. We now have a billion in the bank. How crazy is that? How much has SimCity made us so far? Uh, oh my goodness, compared to the last one, the last one made us 240 million, whereas the recent one has made us 288 million so far. So it's making us more m money than before. Damn. Damn. Um, okay, weird. <clears throat> so what we're going to do then is send them all on vacation because their time is running out. Send them everybody on vacation before we go to create another beast mode of a game. Yes. So SimCity is off the market and it generated us a total of 291 million in profit. That is a crazy, ridiculous amount of money. 
It really is. It really is. Uh, we got three million fans. That's that, even that's ridiculous as well. Three million fans. Right, everybody's off. Let's develop a new game. We're gonna create the next hit game. It's gonna be a large, a large, um, large. Let's have a look at our new topics now. The strong audience at the minute is for everybody, but that will disappear by the time we create it anyway. <clears throat> so a sports. We could create a sports game. Uh, a dating sim. Yeah, we've done one of those. Uh, what else we got down here? Death race, sci-fi, trains, colonization, shopping, fighting game, firefighter. Um, right. Let's take a good look. We go cartoon. We can create like a cartoon. Um, cartoon. Hmm. Cartoon adventure. Hmm. Yeah, a cartoon adventure. A cartoon. <laughs> Why have I got this in my head? Dora, the explorer. Uh, Dora the explorer. A cartoon adventure where you go on adventures with Dora herself. And I don't know. I just don't know. PC. Yes. Uh, the sending top which. Has increased its market share, which is good to see. And we go to Play System 5. Engine, the Sengen version 6. It's going to be a large. Should I try it as an MMO? Hmm, I can't because my engine don't support it. I should have selected it. Right, toggle that off. Um, large, for everyone. Yeah. Or we go young. We're going to go young. It's a young game. Okay, so Generic has revealed today that they are working on a game console. Um... It's the latest technology, new Wario, blah, 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 whatever. You ain't winning this world of games development. I mean, this engine. I mean, this, this engine. The Sending Top is the best game ever. So, an adventure game. All the way to the top. Yes, that looks good to me. We we'll throw this in. Beautiful. We're going to take off online store. We don't need that in. Simple character creation. We'll have that in. As you can create your own character. And character creation there. We can create your own character. Um in Dora's world that you go on adventures with her so yeah right gameplay do we have a gameplay specialist yes we got to set up storyline quest we have a storyline quest specialist in uh, Marcus there AI we have engine um, is Kristen yeah she's at engine okay they're all set up for our specialist there which is good so we need to remember that <clears throat> uh, we're gonna pack these lightning bolts early get them underway I'm excited to see how this turns out. Bugs? It had no bugs. Don't lie to me. Right, we're going to have to spend some time and uh, develop a patch quickly. Get it done. Full. Get it done. And that's damaged our development time for this one because myself can't work on it. Right. Next. Uh, the game gear has been released by Generic. Okay, we'll see how it does. I don't think it's going to do very well. Okay, thanks for that help. Um, right, so AI down. Dialogues to the top. That sounds good to me. We'll leave in AI difficulty. We'll have all the language support and dialogues and stuff like that. We're going to have bosses and mini games within this adventure with Dora. So we don't... Do we have an AI person? Yes, with George. He's on that. Level design? Uh, no, we don't have a level design. So we're going to throw... Who's on that? Marcus is on that currently. We'll throw myself on that. And Catherine's on dialogues. Sweet. Let's go. I'll put my own lightning bolt as well because by the time it comes back round, we should be able to get all of them working again. Um, sweet. Thank you. Uh, large booth. It's going to build up the hype. The design's pretty high for this stage, so that might break the design record for this game. It's an adventure game, cartoon adventure, so the design will be higher than the technology anyway. We're, we're very close to breaking 6 million units sold of the Senitop as well. Right, world design to the top. We don't have a world design specialist, do we? I can't remember who we'd have and who we don't. Graphics, bring that down, sound down a bit. Just leaving a question of sound, have Rick's backstory. Now we're gonna get Travis to work on. No, we'll get we we'll get Dominic to work on the world design there. Uh, Catherine's on graphics, so we'll switch her up with Travis. I just don't want to overwork them all because they don't perform as good. <clears throat> right, so I think in 
borderline 1.7 million there. Come on. Hmm, we're quite a bit off 1.7 million. That's good on the least. Now, will we break our um, 1,000 design um, kind of goal that we're going to set ourselves? Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, we're doing good. Senna's making nearly 300,000 a week for us. Release the LC. Do you know what? No. Bam! Bo actually, both of them got over a thousand, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised about. So many bugs left to get out. Pop these lightning bolts. See what happens. Bam! Might as well. <laughs> Bam. Done. Will we break records? New record in design. I thought we would as well. Do we level up anything? AI levels up? The graphics version 5 goes really high. But we leveled up Dominic, Catherine and Travis. They're going to want more money. <sighs> Always wanting more money. Right, let's release this game. Salary increases. Yes. Uh, we can now research superior AI. Can you generate a game report? Yes. Draw the Explorer. And here come our reviews. They are an astonishing five. <laughs> it's a mediocre game. Seven. Okay, so that's a really, either a really high seven or a really shitty five. Six. That doesn't help. Six. Okay. Mm, call it a six overall. That's not bad. It's still good. It's still going to sell copies. It's still going to make us money. Let's see. Bam. How much in the first week? Six million in the first week, which means it's almost making us profit. It's definitely going to make us some money. It's definitely going to make us some freaking money. So the Mbox one is no longer supported. Um, we wrapped up 50k in sales. We should reach uh, a million in sales now. That little extra publicity. 1.2. So that is entirely, if I go to check our game history... 10 million in profit, making us money. What can I say? It's making us some serious cash. Now, these guys, if can I train them now to specialize in a certain area? World design. Yes, we're going to train you, Catherine, to do world design. Nobody else is in world design, are they? No, I should have checked before I did it. Um, engine, we've got engine and AI. Travis. Uh, level design, no. Hmm, can't really get you to do anything there. Sweet, got that um, report back. Um, so really, we want um, someone to be graphics. Do I have a graphics person? No, I don't. And what do you need to be graphics? Uh, 450 each. Now, who's closer to 450 each? Ooh. It's looking like it's going to be Travis. Right, Travis, can you do a design course? And you to train... Uh, what could you do? World design, maybe? It do or sound. Need your design up high. So really, we need to get your design up. Either way, we can't specialise with any of these guys because we need to get their sound up anyway. So the sending type is over 6 million. We are over 1 billion in the bank. Over 3 million fans. And... We're about to go over 3 million units sold of Dora Explorer. Maybe this month? Next month? Maybe? Yes! There we go. Which is crazy. Now we've got uh, level design specialist uh, Catherine. Which is good to see. And all these are about to go on vacation anyway. So guys, as this episode comes to an end, we're going to check out our competitors. The number one company at the moment is Ubicraft. We don't own them. And they're making such games as... Uh, Caribbean Sushi Offensive, Olympic Dog Wranglers, and Fluffy Laser Magic. Laser of Magic. That's a weird game. And the worst company is our newly purchased Epoch Games, uh, known for such games as the Harlem Globetrotters Shopping Something Else. That's a pretty long one. Uh, Japanese Computer Disaster. Okay. Uh, and Final Chest Shoot. Superb games from those companies, as always. As 
freaking always. Now, as Dora Explorer is now off the market, we made a total of 36 million in profit off them, which is good. It's not bad. I mean, it's not as good as SimCity 3000, where we made nearly 300 million in profit off that, but it's good none the least so anyway guys as this episode comes to an end i want you to leave some suggestions down below on games that you want to see me create in the next episode so you'll be featured in the next video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a big like down below and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe and until next time i'll see you all soon so goodbye okay then here i go <laughs> i'm entering the prison in the prison bus who am i i am john hawkins my reputations i have nothing I am just a minuscule man. Now, I just want to point out, this is a maximum security prison with gangs. And the gangs own almost every possible gang territory it is. So, is this even a very good idea coming into this prison or a very bad idea? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. So, let's speed this up then. Let's get me in the prison. I'm coming off the bus any moment now. We're waiting for these... Get rid of that dirt. So, I'm, am I 